The electrospray ionisation method is often described as a soft ionisation method. It is a liquid phase method. As the dissolved sample and solvent evaporate in the spray, as seen here, the droplets become charged by the presence of available cations, H pluses, sodium pluses, potassium pluses. The resulting molecules in positive mode, ESI, are quasi-molecular ions, with the additions of salt ions and H plus ions. But in negative mode, the loss of H plus results in an ion one Dalton lower than the molecular ion. The electrospray capillary is a stainless steel narrow bore tube through which solvent and analyte are passed. An additional tube around the outside of this tube carries nitrogen gas, nebulizer gas, which creates the spray you see here. The whole source region is heated and a further addition of desolvation gas aids in drying the droplets of excess solvent. So only analyte enters the instrument. Different manufacturers have different styles of sources and sheath gas or curtain gas can also be used to help dry out the droplets. So only charged analytes enter the instrument. The charge on the droplet is created by placing between two to five kilovolts of electricity along the capillary. Cone or curtain voltages are adjusted to attract the analyte through the small orifice, the cone, and into the first stage of the mass spectrometer in the gas phase. Remember, mass spectrometry is a gas phase phenomenon. The electrospray source is an atmospheric source and is outside of the vacuum system. Electrospray was first developed in the 1990s by a guy called John Fenn. The way that the molecules have become charged is much softer than an electron impact source. Thus, larger molecules like proteins and peptides, which tend to fall apart under an EI source, can now be studied using electrospray. The positioning of a quadrupole before the time of flight mass spectrometer, or a triple quad, allows a single molecular ion to be selected and then fragmented as in an MSMS experiment. This provides information on fragment ions and that can be used to identify individual molecules, similar to the fragmentation patterns used to identify electron impact ions. This particular instrument has a quadrupole followed by a time of flight mass filter. And using a calibrant and the lock mass feature in the software, we can also acquire high resolution data on the molecular ion and confirm the probability of a particular formula according to a comparison between the exact mass that calculated and the accurate mass that recorded by the instrument. And results have to be within 10 parts per million for publishing purposes. Most modern mass spectrometers possess these push and pull connectors on the high pressure gas lines. They can be removed when the gas is off by pushing the blue end piece towards the back, towards the black center piece, while simultaneously pulling the tubing out in the opposite direction. Each manufacturer has their own brand of software for each instrument. Here you can see the voltages associated with the source, the detector voltages, and the source temperature controls. Adjusting the source voltages and temperatures and also adjusting gas pressures are all parameters that will need to be optimized to produce the best ionizing conditions for individual molecules.